This is a big concern, so be careful when getting behind the wheel this morning. Yeah, the Tennessee-Kentucky border, really one of the hardest hit areas yesterday. You know that very well coming through there. Mm -hmm. News Channel 5's Matthew Torres joins us from Clarksville again this morning up in Montgomery County, kind of hitting that same area you were in yesterday. Matthew, what are you seeing today compared to yesterday when you were up there? Well, yesterday we saw a lot of snow and slush out on the roads and thanks to the hard work from Clarksville crews setting down the salt, really the interstate and the main roads out here in Clarksville are looking good. But where I'm standing on right now is the parking lot here on Sam's Club, where as you can see, it's pretty much just covered entirely with ice and it's almost like a skating rink, a thin layer of ice. I'm not going to do this too much since I may fall and I don't want to do that, obviously, but I mean, just take a look at this. It's just pretty hard ice just stuck on the ground. So with this next round of wintry mix expected for tomorrow, this looks like it's not going to melt anytime soon, at least even though maybe with the above freezing temperatures we will be experiencing later today. In fact, I saw uh, another driver here not too long ago kind of just slide around in this parking lot. Funny enough, because out on the main roads, it's pretty much smooth and clear to go. So out here, it seems like the businesses, the parking lots, the gas stations, and just really small, um, really corners and neighborhoods, that's when you're still seeing the patches of ice. Obviously, this one is really to the extreme with just the amount of it here right now so still be very careful when going out to the businesses this morning especially knowing that at this part not a lot of people drive on it so obviously you can still see some of the ice that's still stuck here on the ground a pretty thick layer of ice too if i might add now i just reached out to the tennessee department of transportation regarding the efforts and preparations for tomorrow's second round i'll tell you what they have to say coming up in the next half hour for now we're reporting live in clarksville I'm Matthew Torres, News Channel 5.